He needs his cue ball to stop. Mm, I think the red says the red is closest 42. to go to the left corner. He, he can't believe it. Just got into the, the cue ball too much. A, bit, a little bit low in the cue ball. Play your best snooker. Hmm. Spoke too soon. His reaction was priceless. Desperate to carry this break on, but Robertson, 43. Well, he's actually done that a couple of times today. And of course, he was four up with five to play against one of Dot's fellow countrymen. Way the balls are just needs to find a pot in the blue is going to automatically be on one of those three reds what a chance making a winning clearance here you feel And Robertson will be sitting at the frame and match winning break. Thank you. Yeah, this will irritate 22. Neil. Any panic buttons, but it'll just irritate him that he hasn't closed the match out at that visit. Three in front, Dodd, so he needs down to the blue. 35. 38. No, he's never ever going to just hand the match on a plate to Neil Robertson. Tremendous opening red to the right middle. 47. Graham Dot, 47. He's a fighter, Graham Dot, waving the white flag for him. No way. The match is alive at 9-6.
looked lovely. Nine. He's going to have to put a lot of these reds to accumulate a big enough break to win this frame. Twenty one. Twenty six. Winners, this would be his eighteenth such title. But they're never easy to win, and an elementary brown goes astray. It's amazing that, going back to that positional shot from the green, and he snookered himself okay. on the red. He looked certain to, to win the match, 10-5, I should say. Those little misses, like that miss in the brown, will just give Graham that extra bit of belief that he can go ahead and nick this match. Eight. Nine. And those mistakes, the the loose positional shot, then the brown, they can get into the mind. And... <coughs> Thirteen. Seventeen. Concern Dot in the slightest if he can and another stay of execution. Here in Dot twenty. Struck that far too thick, a telltale sign of tension. Good. Okay, I'm about four. Consider the scoring that we've had tonight. Eight. This is a, as important as any of the other ones. The blue and brown are where they are. Just takes a little bit of pressure off. It's going to be really hard for Neil Robertson to win the frame in one visit. Yeah, that was always going to be tough. Game dot 14. Mmm. What a time in the match to get a run of the balls. Yeah. 
Thank you. Graham Dot five. Free ball. Leo Scullion went round the table, called a free ball. What a turnaround. How can a game that was so easy a couple of frames ago all of a sudden be so difficult? Twenty-one in front, dots out, red and pink will suffice. Nine. Seven four. Graham Dot 17. Graham Dot 5. Yep, yeah, and the frame. It's willpower with Graham Dot. He refuses to accept his fate. It's 9 7. Again, not shying away from the aggressive shot. Twenty-one. Graham Dot, twenty-one. Well, I miss Graham Dot for one. Graham Dot, one. He knew. You get to know exactly what he's feeling. <laughs> Every shot he plays. One. Wow, well, that is a terrible shot. And if he's on a red to the middle, he's fortunate. Awkward cueing going along the bridges to the cue ball. And that's an excellent Nine. pot. That'll make him feel a whole lot better, that pot, and his petal in the blue. Now, in prime scoring territory. One more little cannon. The two reds near the pink spot, the left hand side, red. And then it's now, you would think, plain sailing. 23. The last thing he wants is this intruder. Put some four points in front, so he's going to need one of the more awkward reds. Top to one. Top to eight. Don't be so disappointed that it was from an unforced error. I missed black off the spot. Twenty-four. 
46. Fifty four. So the red to put them thirty six points ahead with thirty five on the table. Sixty two. No positional heroics, and why should there be? Robertson 69. The match not quite dead just yet. One. <coughs> Thirty five points behind. Four. He's his cue ball to stop right about now. So, great chance. Take that cue ball right up tight behind the brown ball. He wants to try and keep the green away from any cushions as well. Graham Dot too. Mm, it's a snooker, but I don't think there's any chance Neil can miss it. Especially, I think, coming off the bulk cushion. Dot fluke the green out of a snooker. And Neil Robertson would love to do the same. It's subtle for hitting it, and he hasn't. He Graham hasn't. Dott. Do you believe it? Well, just when you think you haven't seen it all, I'm going to get today. Foul, remiss. Wow. Game dot four. Wow. That's all you can say. Pot the green in the left middle yep. and end up on the brown. I don't think Graham can actually believe himself he's in this position. Well, it obviously wasn't a natural angle. Hey, Greg, could you bring this and will on, he regret not taking that on? That's what he's thinking. Will I get a better shot? Remiss. Where's the green ending up? There's the pot. Here's the chance. Neil Robertson stands there in disbelief. Three. Pot of the green. Too thick. Graham Dot, three. That's another very good safety shot from Graham Dot. What a tough match player he is.
good hit. On the nose, wasn't it? On the nose. And a totally four ball snooker. Has the pendulum swung again. It's a chance. It's a horrible pot to the right middle. And he needs the blue as well. Brown puts him 18 ahead. Oh, where's the brown? Thought for a second it was going in behind the black. You don't know what's going to happen next in this match. <laughs> Miss. Here Robertson four. That's what he's played. Oh, I can't believe it actually went round the back of the black. But he's got the brown well fairly safe. It's a tempter. It's a pretty disciplined shot from Neil Robertson. Very good. has gained the initiative in this little struggle on the brown. Mm, if there's a gap, well, you can see the disappointment. Very, very good shot, Neil Robertson. To try and send it up the table. Could even get a snooker back here. there but whatever it was <laughs> he's butchered it to be honest you can't believe it what a chance for Graham Dot five Nine. So much pressure that he didn't want to play a little soft screw, he wanted to screw off the cushion. <coughs> well, the technique and the alignment hold firm this time. That is a wonderful pot under pressure. Has he got a pot in the black? Absolutely fabulous shot. But this black is anything but easy. Now, what pace do you want to play this at? If you play it slow, you miss it, you leave it over the pocket. I believe you just got to go for this 100%. Don't even think about safety. All you think about is pot the black. He thought about safety. Game dot 15. Look where the cue ball is. I think if he'd gone all out for the pot, he'd have got it. Oh, he's played this one, well, a hundred times better than his last shot. Excellent. Well, if 
Neil Robertson loses his frame. I don't know how he can come back from this. And he may have left a chance of a pot, but if he goes for it, misses a pot, highly likely to leave the black over the pocket. He's looking at the pot and angle. The cue ball's going to be running wild. What a part, what a frame. Dot needed two snookers. He was dead and buried. Not anymore. It's 9 8. Mm, great part. I'm needing two snookers to tie. Surely, Lightning can strike twice here. Neil Robertson, 14. Look at the green, look at the blue, look at the black. It's a gargantuan task to win this frame for Graham Dot. Well, I just, I just can't believe this. <laughs> Dot needed a couple of snookers. He got them and won it on the black. Robertson's praying that history does not repeat itself. <clears throat> Dot reels away from the table. He suspects that could be that. He's been waiting to exhale. Sorry. And now the game's easy again. You have to say commiserations to Graham Dot. What a contribution he's made to this match. But on the day, the best player won. It was a cracking contest with a twist in the tail. But in the end, the Coral World Grand Prix champion is Neil Robertson. But only just at 10 8. I can tell you this in all of his life, he's never felt relief quite like this.